I'm sure, like most of us, we have been listening to the news. We kept up with what's going on around us. All right, the verdict came out. It was not one that we were looking forward to, but we know that verdict can be turned around. It's an eye-opener, and it should be an eye-opener to everyone who wants justice and equality. If there is anything that we can do to ensure that justice will still be where it needs to be, we should do it. We all have young boys. Why should we allow someone to follow them and just kill them and get off scot-free. It's not right. It's not what justice is all about. And pretty soon it'll be our young women too. We have justice for one thing and the law that states one thing. But when it comes to black American, look like we just get any kind of justice. It's not fair. And there's only one thing I know that we can do anytime, anywhere, is to pray, pray that our leaders will change some of the law that they have. Some of those laws are not even worth the paper that they are write or written upon. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Now we know that if Mr. Zimmerman would have done as the policeman asked him to, Leave him alone. We'll deal with that. Mr. Zimmerman continued to go and to antagonize someone who's just walking home. If he did it then, guess what? Things like this are like a change reaction. Somebody else will try it too. And they'll use that verdict to get what they want. I think my two minutes is up. But let's continue to pray. Let's continue to do anything that we can do. I'm not up in to talk too long, but I know how the Martin family feel. I had a grandson got killed 2010. I, I know how the Martin family feel. I had a grandson got killed. 2010, September the 19th, and um, we, I went to court, we sat in the court five days, and uh, they had to say that those boys were innocent. How would we come out the courthouse? I don't know how my daughter and I would have come out, I don't know how my son would have come out, I don't know how I would have come out, and I know how the Martin family feel. We know that that man is not innocent. We know that. But the law, you know, they speak it that he is innocent. But it's one man we know who know it all, and that's God. If he wrong, we know that he will pay for his wrong. He might be walking now free, but God got his eyes on him. And I just want everybody to pray for the Martin family, and just keep on praying and do the right thing and teach our young boys to do the right thing. Because we are child now and we don't have no say when these cops get behind these young boys and do the wrong thing to them. We know that they will have the right. And we know that one thing why these Laws and stuff are so mad because we have a black president and we just got to pray and keep on and do the right thing. Good morning, each and every one. Good morning. Stand before you all this morning about the uh, trial went on last week. That was unjust. God knew all about it. Uh, but he had uh, what, five uh, white jurors, one uh, Hispanic. But uh, they didn't make the right decision. They didn't know in their heart. But uh, if you white, you right. You tell it like it is, whether it's simple or not. I have been through something, something to that with a gun uh, for throwing me.
but I, I made out. The gentleman went to court, but he got convicted. I could have been dead and gone, but God see fit to spare my life. Amen. But uh, God washing on her. Being black, man, it's rough in this world. It's rough. We have come a long way. We have a long way to go. Now, black men and young ladies and everybody got to shape up and, and stand up straight. Speak out the right thing because it's rough out here in this world. Just for these young people that are coming up, you don't know we have been through a lot of it. Like I see, we got a lot more to go through. But God know all about what happened with uh, the Martin now. Uh, proud they pray for Martin. And none just on property. Like some still walking around carrying that weapon that killed our uh, pray for Martin. But God gonna fix it. Turn into His hand. We keep looking up and let's pray that our young men are all over the world. They need to shape up and be a man standing there ground. This is my message. Amen. Good morning. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm the Jared White. I'm a senior at South Carolina State University. Um, I just completed my internship at Clemson University, and the Sunday where the verdict was held um, was announced. We had a peaceful protest around the campuses of um, Clemson University. But, you know, what I want to say is from, you know, watching the trial and listening to different things and on, being on social media, I believe that as a society, you know, African-American people, we have turned this case into something more close to civil rights than an actual murder trial. Um, I understand the notion that, you know, he is a young African-American male and, you know, the dynamics of the situation, but race in this situation needs to be removed and we need to look at the hard, cold facts about what was actually um, taking place because I see people, I have friends on Facebook that are going on and on about, you know, black man, this and that, and social justice, and, you know, no justice, no peace, fight the power, you know, Black Panther type stuff, and it shouldn't be that way. You know, if the tables were turned, they wouldn't be, you know, pulling a race car, you know, towards us. You know, so I feel as though and this is my opinion, so no stone, stone should be thrown at me, going back to my seat. Um, you know, race, you know, should be removed from the situation, and we should look at the fact.